before nightfall and uh, we're going through trying to uh, get some clues, see how things are now. Uh, this is one of the uh, first times he's been back here since he moved. Um, Matthew, could you point out the uh, tree that the man hung himself in? Uh, this large tree right in front of us here. Um, the stories that we got, that we were told, was that he tied off to this bend in this tree and when he heard his family pulling in, uh, they were in a horse-drawn carriage at that time, when he heard them pulling in is when he jumped off of the chair he had on the tree on the front porch and he hung himself right there in front of his family. Give me a piece. Alright, this is the remnants of the barn that I was, I was actually in when I turned around and looked back towards the house and if you look back there's an upstairs room the upstairs room over here the window on the left that pine tree wasn't there at the time it is it's since grown grown so this, up this tree here wasn't here right that tree was not there and I looked in that window and that's where I saw the little girl looking back at me and she had a bow in her hair which my sister occasionally would wear bows in her hair but it was just kind of odd and I just looked back and waved I thought it was my sister and when I came inside uh, shortly thereafter she was downstairs wearing something totally different and had no bows in her hair and I asked her if she was up in her room and if she had changed clothes already and she said she had never been up there so this was after she had the incident where she had seen the image in the window you know the phantom image in the window and she yeah. wouldn't go back in that room again um, he's going to show us where he fell off the roof when he was attacked by the hornets. So, uh, basically, from what you were telling us, you were anointing the house, the roof of the house. That's correct. We were, uh, we had already gone and done the ground level and all the doors and all the windows. And we had even done the upstairs windows in the home and we still felt a native presence that was involved in the, you know in the house so that's when my mother decided that it was time to go all out and we anointed the entire house every level every floor everything and we anointed the roof and I started on this lower level and I worked, started working my way up to the second level and then I got up to the top and I did the top and the peaks and as I was coming back down the peaks a wasp, I was attacked by a swarm of wasps we could never find a wasp nest and you know wasp nests are usually very large um, we never found a wasp nest just a, stack, a swarm of wasps came out of nowhere it was almost as if they came out of the ceiling of the house and I started getting stung and I jumped from that second level up there down to the ground which is two stories it's probably you know these are very tall ceilings in this house so it's probably close to 20 feet and I hit the ground rolled I got up and immediately as soon as my feet touched the ground the pain of the stings went away and of course, my mom was standing down here at the time, and you know she saw it all happen. And as soon as I hit the ground, we couldn't find any signs of any stings. We couldn't find any stingers. There were whelps on me, but as soon as we pulled my shirt up, the whelps went away. It was like they dissolved into nothing. Um, it was a very interesting time. That that's when we felt the turn in the battle, the battle on the spiritual side of this home and we felt like we had you know had driven them we had gotten Is a leg that up the, the power thing <laughs>
behind you. Can you please get closer, though? Thank you. Thank you. Can you do it again? Do you see the lights blinking? Can you make the lights blink, please? Just get closer, and the closer you get, the more it'll go off. Right in my hand. Thank you. Oh, you're doing a great job. Thanks. Yay! Good job. Thank you. Can you get even closer? Oh, good job. Yes, get closer. You're doing a great job. Okay, now we're going to try to communicate this time, all right? Um, if you'll get close enough, and, and it'll make it blink, back up and make it stop. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Get closer or far away as you need to. Uh, one blink for yes and two for no. You got Good it. Job. Yeah. Good job. You're doing a great job. Now, what I'd like for you to do is, um, oh, good, good, good. You're back, doing great. Okay, now back up for just a second. Let me ask you a question, then you can get back close again. Are there more than one spirit here? Yes. No? Does that mean no, two for no? We said two for no, right? Okay, two they for no. They just did two. All right, so just you here by yourself? One for yes, two for no. Oh, you're here by yourself? Lies. Hmm? Lies. How is that possible for you to be here by yourself? Because I can see things across the street. Okay, now I'm going to ask you to be honorable. I want you to tell me whether or not... Could you please tell me whether you are good or bad? If you are good, one blink. Okay, that's more than one blink. Calm down. Calm down. You're doing a great job. You are. Okay. Calm down. I'm going to give you some energy. One blink for yes, you're good. Two blinks means you are bad. Can you please blink for me? Get closer to make it blink. Get closer to me, please. I'm trying to give you some energy. Good. Great job. You're doing good. Okay, I don't know what that meant, but you did great. Two blinks. It means you're bad? No. Yes. So you're a bad spirit. Can you make it go all the way in the red to let me know that you understand that I'm saying you're a bad spirit? Ah. So why do you think you're bad? Are you the one that hung yourself? Go all the way to red if you're the one that hung yourself. Okay. That's Are you one of the people that died here to illness? Did you live here before as a slave? You're not going to talk to me now? You're mad? by the steps that wouldn't let the children pass. Ah, I got gotcha. you. 